DLC time is always such a bittersweet time because we have to say goodbye to so many mods that have carried us along the way. This time around, we had mods for every single habitat animal in Planet Zoo. Some of these animals even had multiple mods for one species. And some even had custom models built from the ground up. So without further ado, welcome everyone to our Mods vs. Frontier showcase for the Eurasia Animal Pack. Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. My name is Leaf and it's so great that you guys are able to join me for another one of these comparison videos. So, we have a lot to talk about today because every single one of the animals that you will see today have had some kind of mod associated with them. So we're going to go through all of them. Some of them are a bit outdated, so they don't really work. Some of them are actually exactly coded the same way that the way the code works for some of the animals that we officially got. I don't know, it's strange, but we'll get there when we get there. First of all, we're going to check out the Mute Swan. Really beautiful mod by Narwhaler. So sad we have to see it go, but I think everyone knows the main issue with these animals. If we move it to land, we can see that it flies. And no, not in the good way. You can see that it simply only has part of the legs from the flamingo rig, which we were never able to figure out for the longest time. However, with the oncoming of the beautiful mute swan from the Eurasia animal pack, finally have waterfowl that if we move them to the ground over here, we can see that they walk around like normal. This is insane. We've had so many waterfowl mods that have used the kind of like way that this swan works uh, as a way to kind of make do. And essentially they function as scenery animals, not really animals that you would see have full capabilities, but an animal that really helps sell the vibe of the zoo. So luckily now we have this beautiful new waterfowl rig. Are those just normal swans or flamingos? I They look like normal flamingos. Regardless, we can finally say goodbye to this mod. A huge thank you to Narwhaler for keeping this one up to date for so long. It was always such a really cool thing to see, but luckily we get a beautiful new rig. So hello to the new Mute Swan. Now Narwhaler loves his European animals as well, and he also made this gorgeous looking y -Sent mod. Based off of the American Buffalo, this guy is absolutely beautiful. And we're so thankful for Narwhaler for providing this mod for such a long time, I believe since the Europe pack came out. So this mod is about like one and a half years old or even two years old, I'm not really sure. Time time, time goes by weird. But of course, looking at the new y -Sint, we could actually see that these guys utilize that new fur plane technology, which gives them this really beautiful scraggly looking beard. And they even have a much higher quality texture, especially around the head and stuff like that. And they have those very furry ears that I tend to just absolutely love. It always is so cool seeing Frontier's little style on these very unique animals. And even though we have to say goodbye to this mod right over here, it's always been a great one and a trusted one to have at that. So the Wolverine is a mod that actually had two versions. This one is the only one that works in current Planet Zoo. So this is the American Wolverine by Jen. Jen absolutely killed it with this one. I love the texture on here, but it is based off of the Binturong. It was always great to have, but I think we can all say that we are so thankful that we finally get this normal looking Wolverine in here because it just has all these super spectacular animations that are so iconic to this animal. It's so sad whenever we do have to discontinue a mod, especially one from Jen, because she made some of the best mods in the community. So it's just a shame that this one has to go along with the other one, but here's a picture of the other one. If you do want to see it, very cool. The European Wolverine, it looks like the skin and texture kind of looks like the normal looking one. Uh, but we're just so happy that we finally have an official one too. Now, uh, this is an issue I'm having with the current wild boar. So the wild boar code for Narwhaler's wild boar, which you can see on the left over here, and the frontier wild boar on the right, utilize the same code. So they kind of break each other. Uh, but you can see over here on the actual Zoopedia page, the European wild boar for Frontiers version is just incredible, really beautiful detail. I mean, we talked about it ad nauseum 
for like, you know, the DLC showcase and stuff like that, but it's a really spectacular animal. It even has interspecies enrichment with the mute swan, red deer, wyson, and the European fallow deer, which is all incredible. But regardless, it really is just a really awesome animal to see and a really awesome animal to have. So thank you so much, Narwhaler, for keeping the wild boar up to date, but we are so happy that we finally have them officially in game. Kaidu came onto the scene with a single mod, and that single mod was the Saiga, an animal no one else really wanted to attempt. But Kaidu came in and did this entire mod from scratch, literally from this cube over here, turning it into this beautiful custom animal. It really is super incredible whenever you do see an animal that is completely made from scratch because you can tell a whole lot of love went into these. And this one is no exception. Kaidu made each individual animal in here from the male to the female to the baby and just absolutely killed it with all of that. They even have multiple mates over here. I think that one's a uh, male. Yeah, where's the female? Where's the girl? There she is. And again, unfortunately, the mod was not updated in a while, so the swimming kind of broke for these guys, but you can see the females right over here. Really beautiful looking animal. Just a really stellar mod at that. But of course, we did get the official Saigo, which is always incredible. For some reason, Frontier loves their veins on their animals as of late. So I think that's just a really awesome detail that they're able to sneak in there that modders really haven't been doing as of late. But it really is just a really cool quality check in there. Regardless, these guys do have a whole bunch of different textures. We can see a lot grayer individuals right over here. They even have albino individuals that we can see right here. They look kind of like old men. I don't know. Kind of funny looking dudes. So unfortunately, we do have to say goodbye to this incredible mod. It was always such a really awesome one to cover. But as is the way of going with the Planet Zoo DLCs, this mod shall go as well. Now the Sloth Bear mod is a mod that absolutely has been through the ringer. My original attempt at it really wasn't the best. But Gaboy stepped in and made it look even better on the Sun Bear rig. Really, really beautiful animal right here, known for their iconic long claws, and Gaboy was able to achieve that stuff too. They just had this very smooth look about them that looked incredible. And something that Gaboy did with the fur on these animals too, really helped to make it stand out as a really top quality mod. However, I think everyone is captivated by the gorgeous new sloth bear. Look at that fur on these guys. They are incredible looking creatures. Again, that droopy fur around the head is just incredible. And they even got that muzzle to look perfect too. Unfortunately, we do have to say goodbye to this version of the mod. Very sad because he always looks so happy. I don't know, so sad. It also could use a hammock, which, you know, it's its own thing, but I wish this guy could use a hammock too, just to fulfill my Baloo dreams. Now the beautiful talking mod from Nick was always one that I always loved, but we never really wanted to remaster it. We knew we could do better. We knew we could do better than this, but we never did remaster it because we were certain that we would get an official one. And get an official one we did. Look at these gorgeous beauties. Now, of course, there is one issue with these official tokens. It's that they don't have an official subspecies. But I think everyone in the community is pretty much in agreement that they are supposed to be representing the Sichuan token, which is relatively the most common token you will see in a zoo in real life, which is great. I always do love to get my official zoo animals in Planet Zoo. But the, like, token mod, again, was never really fixed for uh, 1.10, so it does float on water which is its own set of issues, but I will always miss this mod. It was a really fun one at that, uh, but there are always some glaring issues with it, which I was always too lazy to fix because, again, I was under the assumption that we would get an official one, and we did. So I'm just very thankful for that. But that is it for the mods for Planet Zoo's Eurasia pack. Again, it's very sad to see most of these get discontinued. Maybe they'll get remade in one way or another, but for the time being, I want to do thank you guys for not only your support on these mods, but your support on these videos as well. So thank you guys for that. We're going to end it with the swans. Why not? We'll say goodbye to like the little floating boys. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. If you 
you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a little bit of a like and even consider subscribing if you can. It really does help a lot. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Goodbye now.